Covert Operations clone troopers were elite units of no more than two clones sent on missions deemed to be dirty work. While these clones largely exist in Legends, I believe we may have seen our first Covert Ops clone in the latest Bad Batch episode. So let's break down who and what these clones are and compare them to the mysterious clone assassin. There are a lot of variations in clone troopers. We have standard infantry troopers, arc troopers, commandos, recon scouts, etc. The list could go on and on, and I'm actually planning a breakdown for all the other classes of troopers for a later video. But to get back on topic, Covert Ops clones were selected from the rank and file. These clones would be chosen based on their personality and traits. They showed potential for taking on missions most would not be able to handle or follow through with. Once selected, they would be trained by Null Arc Troopers on specific commando tactics, becoming experts in concealment, stealth movements, and weapon systems. Their armor was customized with a coating known as Reflect that helped conceal them by warping the light reflecting off their armor. It also prevented scanners from picking them up. Most covert ops used modified DC-15A and DC-15S blaster rifles. Their missions were extremely classified and not very cut and dry as they were most often sent on missions to assassinate clone deserters. These troopers remained one of the most secretive aspects of the Grand Army, as their mission records were withheld from both the public and military. In fact, they didn't even fall under the Special Operations Brigade, and most high-ranking officers even denied their existence. Most speculate that they reported directly to the Office of the Supreme Chancellor. Now, how do they relate to the latest episode of The Bad Batch? In episode 7 and 8, we find that a mysterious clone has been tasked by Admiral Rampart to clean up some loose ends. The clone is nearly successful if it weren't for the GOAT himself, Captain Rex, saving the day. When Rex attempts to identify him, he states that he is not a trooper. Apparently this clone has zero identification numbers, which are given to just about every clone from regs to commandos. What's even creepier is that the assassin, as he's referred, is able to recognize Captain Rex before saying that he's on the wrong side. That he, the assassin, is a true believer before promptly ending his own life. It's not surprising to think that a covert ops clone would have a list of deserters and that Rex may have been on that list, proving how this assassin knows who Rex is. So let's look at the other facts. A single unmarked clone, not any type of trooper that Rex can identify, was tasked by a high-ranking officer to assassinate a rogue clone and a senator, Sounds like a job for a covert ops clone. I also think it's important to note that Rampart didn't want anything to be traced back to him. That is why he didn't use a bounty hunter or assassin guild member. That requires money, and like Bail Organa says, just follow the money. Money leaves a trace. This clone has to be some sort of imperial assassin, or maybe an early version of a dark trooper. Whatever he is, he's a true believer, willing to murder and die for the emperor. But that is just my mere thoughts and speculation. I think it's super cool to see a darker side of the clones. Unlike being forced to execute Order 66, this clone willingly assassinated his own brothers. But what do you think? Is this our first look at a canon covert ops clone? One kept secret from just about everyone in the Grand Army? Let me know in the comments, like this video if you enjoyed the content, and subscribe for more Star Wars lore and speculation. Have an amazing day, and may the Force be with you.